Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got one from the user Barfomu Jingle Nuts um, in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending in this system. And their system is called the 2217 Solar System version 1.29, so let's go ahead and see what they're prepared for us here. So, here it is, okay, oh the picture looks quite cool. Right, what have we got? Taking a bit of time. All right. Okay. So, ooh. Okay. Simulation sync with the latest official Universe Sandbox version. True resources sync with the. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Uh, brief description. Two two one seven. Much of the solar system has been colonized by humanity. Oh, is this like a version of the our own solar system then? Oh, it is. Well, uh, that looks like our solar system. Okay, so let's go to. Yeah, it's definitely our solar system. Okay, so we've got the sun in the middle. Right. Technological advances enables humans to be able to reach Mercury and Sedna. Venus has just been tamed. Earth unending demand keeps stacking and Mars is rising for independence. Aye. This simulation contains terraform Venus and Mars while still giving them a unique identity and not Earth 2.0 copy. Colonized solar system up to Uranus moons. Elited objects that look more realistic and accurate like the gas giants without adding or removing bands from them. Named uh, unnamed objects according to the official designation and unofficial proposals. Okay. Objects that isn't really in US2 simulations such as trans-Neptunian objects. 121 total objects. Okay. The fate of the solar system is your hands. Make Luna leave Earth's orbit. Create new space. Have to go anywhere. Terraform every option in the asteroid belts. Insight a planetary war. Make every speculated object real. Or just launch a giant red star. Oh, wow. Okay, custom assets. I've made my own custom asset. It contains custom Earth nightlight representing the future of Earth. Whoa, hang on. What? So, anything look different here? I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I can't really see anything that looks different from the get-go. So, what's he said? Oh, he has, like, special things that you download? I don't know, actually. I've made my custom asset. It contains vegetation data, height maps, custom titan height map. Okay. Interesting. Oh, so he has like a special... Ah. So he has a special thing. Shall I try getting that? So how to apply the custom resources asset? Go to the program and use first sandbox. Huh. Interesting. And he's got graphics update. Whoa, okay, so he's like he's using mods or something there. Okay, we'll leave that alone though because I don't want to go into uh, the files and start messing around with things. So, okay, pretty interesting. If you want to have a check it out, feel free. Okay, interesting. Right. So, anyways, on to the sun itself. So, obviously, that's the same, right? Mercury, what have we got here? So, Mercury's looking uh, slightly different to normal. We can see there's some blue areas appeared on it. Let's have a little look underneath. So, okay. Interesting. So it has got a bit of water patches started to sharp now. Okay, so it's a very early sort of terraform version of Mercury going on here. Interesting stuff. Okay. It's quite cool to see like a special version of our own solar system. Well, Venus is looking pretty, pretty cool. Okay. So there's Venus looking underneath. There you are. Okay. So got a lot of uh, oceans um, on it as well. It's quite cool reviewing this at the moment, actually, because obviously I colonised the solar system recently in one of the recent series as well. So it's kind of a comparison to see someone else's interpretation of it. So, yeah, there's Venus. Okay. All right, next up we have obviously Earth. That's obviously the same. Uh, we need to check out the moon, though. So there's the moon is over here. Luna. So the moon's looking pretty exotic indeed. Very nice job there. Cool. Okay, next up we're heading to so what arrows what's that it's obviously one of the asteroid belt objects okay uh mars over here this mars is looking quite nice of a more purpley sort of ocean color to it as well still retaining its reddish atmosphere of course looking very nice indeed at mars phobos and deimos anything going on there nope okay right so moving out to the asteroid belt so series anything here yep series has been colonized okay there it is. Nice. Cool. There is that. 
And next up, we're heading to Jupiter. So let's see what we got over here. So Jupiter looking very, very different. Okay. Jupiter's looking very, very bizarre. Right, okay. So there's Jupiter. Uh, we've got some other moons there. What about the Galileo moons? Are they colonized? There's Io. So looking good. All right. Nice. Uh, then we have Europa. So Europa's retaining a bit of land. Okay, interesting. Because obviously most of Europa normally is just it's just frozen ice. So having land is an interesting choice. Okay. Uh, Ganymede. So looks kind of similar to Mars actually on first glance. It's okay. There's Ganymede. And then lastly we have Callisto over here. Right. So there's Callisto. Nice. All right. Okay. Right, next up we have got... What was that in the background? There was like some weird effect there. What was... Oh, never mind. That's just me being silly. Right. Uh, Saturn. Okay, so Saturn's looking pretty, uh, pretty similar to the before. Right, moons. So I guess Mimus will be our first look. Anything at Mimus? Yes, okay. Mimus has got city lights on it. Hey, nice. Looking good. Good old Mimus there. Uh, next up we've got Enceladus. Anything going on there, Enceladus? Yep, there's some city lights added to it as well. Now, next up, we've got Tethys, one of the larger moons. So, again, just city lights added as well. Uh, then we've got Dione over here, next moon over here. Okay, so there's Dione. Next up, we've got Rhea. Hang on, Rhea. Yeah, okay. Again, city lights. Okay, so he doesn't really colonize much of these. I guess in Titan he probably has, though. So let's have a little look at Titan. Okay, so Titan's looking a lot different. Much more yellow in appearance. There it is. It's all greyed out underneath, though. Interesting. Okay. There's Titan. And lastly, Hyperion over here. So nothing going on there. Okay. Iapetus as well. Okay, so there is a that. Interesting. Okay. Right, and then uh, the rest are just Saturn's generic moons. All right, next up, we are taking a jump to Uranus. It's got a few other objects in here. Look, we've got all these uh, over here. It's just he's added a lot of Dwarf Planet custom names for some of them by the looks of it, like he said. Okay, anyways, Uranus. So he said he's colonized as far out to here. So let's have a look at Miranda first. First of the major moons. Nothing done to Miranda. Oh, no, no, it has got City Lights, a tiny bit on it. We've got Ariel. Okay, so he's mainly just added city lights to all of them by the looks of it. Umbriel, same story with you. Again, Titania, and lastly, Oberon. Okay, so he's done all of that to those. Okay, so heading further, anything at Neptune we need to take a peek at? Let's have a look. About Triton, I think Triton did the only one to really see anything done here. No, okay. So it looks like the furthest he goes out to was Uranus then, okay. And then further out, he said he did some other stuff. So we got far out, far, far out here. And then we've also got Sedna. Uh, Sedna's orbit there as well. With a custom one, okay. So who's is that other orbit there then? Is that... Uh... Oh, the Goblin, okay. Got an asteroid, okay. Interesting. So yeah, there's Sedna. So that's using the custom Sedna texture, actually. Nice. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system, guys. So that was uh, their take on a customised colon or colonised solar system I should say. So yeah, let us know what you think down below in the comments about this system. So yeah, that was from uh, Bath Hello Mill Jingle Nuts. A uh, massive thank you to them for sending in their uh, solar system. And yeah, that all said and done guys. Yeah, let us know what you think down below in the comments of this system. And yeah, that all said and done. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video guys. Subscribe for more helps on the journey to 25,000 subscribers. And yeah, make sure you have a great day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.